What's up guys, Iceman here bringing you a little video commentary on Gears of War 3, playing a little TDM on Jacinto. This is actually a regular commentary, I just decided to record my face with my new webcam on it. Um, I just wanted to talk about a few things. As you guys may know, for uh, Gears of War Judgment there is no more locusts in multiplayer. And uh, Down But Not Out is uh, removed from all multiplayer game modes. I've already said that, I already posted a video about that. You know, some people are saying that it's only um, taken out of free for all, they're wrong. It's actually taken out of every single multiplayer game mode. And all of all locusts are taken out of every single multiplayer game mode. So they're kind of doing like a Halo kind of thing now. So it's red versus blue. So you're going to have blue cog team and a red cog team. So, um, I know a lot of you guys are probably going to hate that. I myself love playing as Locust. Uh, my favorite character was Golden Hunter. And I fucking nerded out to get that Golden Hunter. 2,000 kills with every single weapon. And, uh, you know, it just sucks. You know, I, I, I don't know about you guys. Leave a comment. Um, you know, let me know what your favorite character was. And the majority of you guys probably love Locust as well. Also, they are bringing back Ty. Ty returns. And what else? There is a female Onyx guard that's going to you know, make an appearance in the game as well. But I don't know, man. I'm just kind of really disappointed about the whole you know, blue versus red teams. I mean, it might make uh, sense for hitboxes. You know, everybody's hitbox might be the same now. I know Savage Canis and a couple other Locusts were really spongy, especially Mira and Savage Canis were probably the most spongy characters, and of course female characters, but I mean, there's female characters on the COG team, so I mean, what are you going to remove all girl characters from the game as well? I don't, I just don't know what Judgment is thinking here, um, I, I definitely think they should have kept Locusts, I mean, it's like, they already removed Down But Not Out, that's pretty much like what gave Gears Awards originality and now they're taking out a locust which definitely gave Gears of War some originality you know like human versus aliens I know there's a lot of you know games that have that but you know it's still cool to it just doesn't sit right with me running up and blowing up you know a fellow cog member you know, like playing as mechanic Baird or Baird and killing Anya or, or you know Sam or any of the other girl characters or Alex, you know, there's a new girl character called Alex, I think. And, oh, big news. There is going to be a Gears of War Judgment demo. Only for the people in the United States. You have to pre-order through GameStop. And you get the demo, I believe, on... Uh, let me think here. March 15th, three days before release date. So, for all you guys out there that are pre-ordering from GameStop, you will get to play Overrun. That's it. It's only an Overrun demo. You will not get to play any, you know, regular multiplayer. So, you'll get to play, like, the, you know, the Cog versus the Locust. So, you'll be able to have, like, um, you know, the Canis or whatever. I think it was Canis. The healing power of Canis. And I believe, let me think. You'll be able to get in the sniper perches. It, you've all seen the Overrun trailer and whatnot, how the Overrun gameplay is. So you'll basically get to play the demo for the Overrun game type, which is cool. I'll definitely be pre-ordering through GameStop, and you guys will get to see some uh, first-hand gameplay on my channel. So I'll be sure to post a lot of Overrun gameplay right before I go to Boston. I'll be leaving for PAX on March 21st to go to Boston to hang out with Yami Mash. Uh, like Butter, Advocate, um, the Razored Edge is going to be down there, Girl Poison is going to be down there, um, uh, let me think, God Mode, Loading God Mode is going to be down there, I know Gold Glove will probably be down there as well, but you know I won't be hanging out with him, um, let me think of some other people that are in the Gears community that are going to be going, um, hmm. I know there's a lot more people that are probably going to this, I know, uh, you know, like Butter's Friends demo and George might be going as well, but I'm not sure. You know, it's definitely gonna be fun. We're gonna do a shitload of video logs. Please leave me a comment. What kind of video logs you guys want to see? You guys want to see video logs at the bars, the clubs? You guys want to see video logs at the events, which we're probably gonna do anyways. We'll definitely do some video logs, a lot of video logs at the hotel, uh, just talking. Um, definitely at the events. Um, we'll definitely get some video logs of Yami and. Uh, advocates first bites of Chipotle. They've never had Chipotle before. 
So we'll definitely get that on cap. But um, you know, as well as if you pre-order from Microsoft for Gears of War, you get the female character Alex. So for you guys that don't really care about the you know overrun game type a little bit early, which most of you probably do want. But if you live in the UK or Australia or anywhere outside of the United States, you're not going to be able to get the demo anyways. So you might as well just pre-order through Microsoft and uh, get that female character. But the thing about that is, is I don't trust pre-ordering pre-ordering from anywhere that doesn't do a midnight release. I don't know how that works though. So leave me a comment. If you pre-order from a place that doesn't do a midnight release, does the game arrive at midnight or you know a couple hours before midnight? Or do you get it the next day after midnight? So leave me a comment. Let me know that. And uh, let me see. I think I go like 15 and 4 in this gameplay. It was a pretty simple gameplay. Get out of here. Fucking dog just opened my door. But um, yeah, I'm not really sure how that works. So leave me a comment. Let me know. And what is this man doing? <laughs> that fucking dog. Um, but yeah, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know how that works. So, because I'm really interested. I know people that have pre-ordered from Walmart that actually got the game five hours earlier than they were supposed to. So I don't even think that's legal. You're not supposed to get the game before midnight. But oh well. I mean, people do. People pay like 150, 160 dollars just to get the game a few day or a few days early. It's crazy. Maybe a week early. Um, but yeah, de definitely video logs. Um at the event definitely video logs at the hotels places we go we're just film everything fuck it we'll just film. <laughs> dude he is pissing me off he keeps like licking his chops <laughs> oh my god that dog man i locked my door he had to have like climbed up and used his paws and like twisted the knob i don't even know how he did it i locked my fucking door <laughs> The dog is a genius, man. I know y'all heard the door creak up, and I was like, Arr. but anyways, yeah, I don't. I have another two minutes to talk. Let me think of some stuff. Judgment, judgment, down but not out. I've covered red versus blue. Um, give me some video ideas. Fuck it. While I'm rambling here, give me some video ideas. You guys want to see a chubby bunny video? You know, shot every time I die video for a night that I'm just down to get fucked up. Um, I, I want to do some dual comms with Like Butter, but he keeps bullshitting. He's always hitting me up like, yo, let's do some vids tomorrow. And then he's playing DayZ all day. The only games he plays now are DayZ and League of Legends. He's like just a computer dweegin right now. But um, pretty much, this, he's just sucked into the computer games. I know when Judgment comes out, he'll definitely be back on Xbox like 24-8. Yes, there's not even eight days in the week, but there will be a day dedicated for him to nerd out on an Xbox Extra. Anyways, I was thinking when we get to Boston that we could do a whole bunch of drinking games at the hotel before we go out. And, I don't know, just give me some ideas for drinking games that we could do at the hotel. We'll just set up a camera and record the four of us just, you know, having a good time fucking around. I know we should do some funny skits. I mean, we, we've this is going to be the first time that we, me and Drew have met Like Butter and Advocate. So, we could definitely do some funny skits. I mean, just imagine the four of us just skipping. I mean, I'm talking about a gay-ass video. But tell me this video would not be golden. Just like pure gold. Just picture me, like butter, advocate, and Yami skipping down fucking Boston. Just skipping through the city. Hands linked. Just holding hands, skipping. Okay? That's already gay enough. But wait. It's gonna get gayer. Singing. What is that song? Uh, making my way down. <laughs> Just imagine all, all of us singing. Making my way downtown. <laughs> Oh man, it's bad that I know those words. Hold on, making my way downtown, walking fast, faces pass, and I'm homebound. <laughs> Just imagine that being a music video of the four of us skipping through Boston. I mean, yeah, the people watching, like, on the side of the road, like, that have no idea why we're doing that are gonna think we're the gayest group of dudes <laughs> ever. But it's gonna be the funniest video. I mean, we can make it twice as gay and all wear leotards and spandex or some fucking homo shit, but 
That would be a golden video. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment. Hope you guys enjoy. Later, guys.